Warning. The following program contains flashing imagery and content which may be considered harmful or traumatizing to some. Viewer discretion is extremely advised. Welcome to the darkest depths. Sixteen-year-old Suzanne Capper was like any other British teenager, lonely, looking for love, and maybe a few friends. She had begun spending much of her time at the home of 26-year-old Jean Powell, whom Suzanne had babysat for in the past. Also living at Jean's home were frequently visiting were Jean's 29-year-old ex-husband, Glenn Powell, their three children, their 24-year-old neighbor, Bernadette McNeely, along with Bernadette's 16-year-old boyfriend, Anthony Dudson, Jean's brother, Clifford Pook, and Jean's live-in lover, Jeffrey Lee. Jean's house was a center for using drugs, trading stolen cars, and wild sex parties. A tragedy unfolded for Suzanne as Bernadette and Anthony became infected with pubic lice, which they assumed came from Suzanne after she slept on Bernadette's bed and they decided to get revenge. At first, the group cornered and attacked Suzanne, cutting her hair and shaving her eyebrows. They also forced her to shave her pubic hair. Over the next six days, Suzanne Capper was beaten with belts and anything that they could find around the house. She was burned with cigarettes and had her two front teeth removed with pliers. One was found to have snapped in half, leaving an exposed nerve. At times, Suzanne was tied to one of their beds. At other times, she was caged inside of kitchen cabinets. Suzanne wasn't permitted to use the restroom and was forced to sit in her own feces and urine. When the group became sickened by her smell, they put Suzanne in a bathtub, then poured concentrated disinfectant all over her body and scrubbed her skin with brushes and brooms. At one point, she was moved from the Powell house to the McNeely's because the group was afraid that Suzanne's crying would disturb the six children living in the home. On December 14, 1991, Suzanne was blindfolded and put into the trunk of a car, dressed only in leggings, underwear, and a raincoat. She was driven to a wooded area, stripped of the raincoat, and pushed into the thick forest, where they doused her with gasoline and set her on fire. The group then left her there to burn and to die. Suzanne Capper managed to walk naked 250 yards before three men spotted her. They gave her a dressing gown and called emergency services. The men recalled Suzanne's skin hanging from her fingers, her hands appearing like ash, and her legs from the thighs down being only raw meat. She was burned over 80% of her body. Suzanne was taken to a local hospital but lapsed into a coma, where she died four days later from multiple organ failure. However, before she slipped into the coma, she was able to give police the address of her murderers. Though the group initially denied the murder, Anthony Dudson would be the one to finally confess on the advice of his father. Jean, Glenn, and Bernadette would all get 25 years to life sentences. Anthony would get 18 years to life, while Jeffrey was given 12 years and Clifford given 15 for false imprisonment and conspiracy to cause bodily harm. Suzanne Capper's burns were so extensive, her mother and stepfather were unable to identify her after death. Instead, Capper was identified by a mere fragment of a charred fingerprint. Thank you for watching Darkest Depths. Follow on YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok for the absolute worst that humanity has to offer in true crime and horror. Merchandise available through teespring.com. Episode requests made through Darkest Depths True Crime at gmail.com. No one is safe.